Yes, yes, inside. Vintiago, got a guest in today, Eddie. What are we saying? We're good? Yes, bro, we're saying you're good, yeah? I'm good, bro, I'm good. Good, good, good. So, good. Not, it's Eddie now, but it was easy before, innit? Yeah, man. Yeah, so, man, that's it. what was the, the reason for the name change? You know what, yeah? So, when it was easy, it was like... So, when I was growing up in it, it was like grime. That's what I started doing grime. I was mm. like, that's when I was a, basically a kid now, bro. I've grown up now, I'm fucking 23. And it's just like, everything's changed, innit? My music style's changed. I feel like I've just matured more now. So I just had to just switch it up completely, innit? So it was, Easy was more of the grime mail yeah, list, yeah. now Eddie's like, the this more evolved. This is more like trying to get, not mainstream, but trying to, I'm trying to take it to the next level now. Yeah, yeah, just switching up the pace. Exactly, bro. But yeah, the whole one. sound's changed now, innit? So yeah, yeah. more mature sound, so I just thought, I need to, I need, it needs to be something, yeah, exactly. You, you know mm, what I'm saying, innit? Yeah, yeah. So keeping it with the Easy vibes, back in the day, obviously each Big member and big part of High Life. Mm-hmm. What would you say were your best experiences of High Life? Jeez. One extra straight off. Mm. That extra. was a hard set. That yeah, was, that yeah, was yeah. a hard one Shout, still. Shouts to Rio for that, lining that one up. Fucking shit, can I, can I swear? I can yeah, swear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, one extra. Rinse FM. That was big. Mm. My Spitfire, to be fair. I remember when I got that, I was gassed, innit? I was yeah. Off. Like, at them times, there JDZ was popping. That was that was yeah. Like, that, that was, was a, to be on, innit? That was the platform like, back in the day. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Or even just like going on Big Mikey showing Silk City clashing Easy Gibbs. Yeah, bro, I did think back now. I did quite a bit, man. Back them times, yeah. but yeah, one extra probably is the highlight about them times. The highlight. 100%. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that was like that. Yeah, that's the one point I can proper remember in it and think like, yeah, that was sick. So you mentioned the, the clash then with Izzy. Yeah. You clashed him twice, didn't you? Twice, clashed him, you yeah. clashed him on so radio. Then you... Words are weapons first. Yeah, and then the radio and after. And then the... on Big Mike is showing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you say? You, would you say that uh, clashing has helped your career evolve? or would you? Mm, I think so. Maybe mm. a little bit back then. Definitely, in it Because that's what I wanted to do then. It was like, yo, that's Definitely what it was all about. Clashing, clashing blah, blah, mm. blah. Um, but I, don't, I, I didn't go into it with the right mindset, innit? When mm. I think back now, I was like... I was like, oh yeah, I could win, I could lose. Oh, I'm not really asked if I lose. Like, but that, now when I think back, it's like, why was I thinking like that? Like, yeah. I should have been going in like, nah, nah, I'm winning this. I'm, I'm winning this. Mm. Mm. Like, I set myself to losing it when I think back now. It's just a learning curve, don't it? Yeah, yeah. Do you think mm. clashing in the wrong mindset can tarnish or damage a music career for... A... Yeah, definitely, straight up. Definitely, mm. definitely. I mean, if you're not going in like... I don't know if there's like anger there or it's like you've got a, a thing... I don't know, man. You can't listen to too much what they're saying, you know. It does get to you, especially if you're not in the right mindset. Right, so, like, yeah, yeah, time, yeah, 100%, yeah. Percent. Like no matter what they're saying, it like you can tell yourself it's not going to get to you, but mm. you just kind of got to like not listen to what they're saying, innit? Yeah, yeah. But do you think it can actually like damage your music career in the sense of like obviously a few years? Like, you think about the Devil Man and Skeptic Clash, innit? Devil yeah, Man, you think, Devil you think Man's Man's got, Yeah, got yeah. I reckon start. so. But I'm, at the same time, I think it's what you, how you come back from that, innit? No matter, like, yeah, you could. So it could mess up your career. People could be like, oh, he's shit, he's shit, he's shit. But then it's how you bounce back from that, innit? That's yeah, yeah, so yeah. No matter sure. what, if you've got the right mentality after that, even if you got spun, you got domed. But you can I still learn you can from always, it. Yeah, you can always yeah, learn yeah, from yeah, it. You yeah, just yeah. the right mentality after it, and it's how you bounce back, man, mm. no matter what situation. Sure. What are your pros and cons for clashing, then? If you've got any. Pros. I'd say it's just fun, innit? It's fun, it's a mm. laugh. Especially grind back then, like that's all I was doing it for. It was for the last, it was for the fun. It was more like I weren't, I weren't thinking about a career. We were just doing it. It's like it's a hobby, then, isn't it? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's definitely a laugh, and it's definitely like something to get involved in if you want to go down that route, like the grime route. Like you need to be a if, if you if you want to do grind, you need to be ready to clash in it. That's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Down. If it's on my chord decks yeah, or anything, that's the yeah, most, yeah, that's yeah. One of the main bits, but I say the cons is. In some people could see it as unprofessional. I guess if you want to take it to the next level, yeah. Um, yeah, but it depends, man. Mm. But I, I, say, I don't think there's many cons. It depends how you look at it, innit? But from what I from what I know, there's not many. There's not many cons. It it depends how you take what's happening. Takes it? a lot. It's yeah, sort of down mm. to the person at the end of the day. Mm. Do you think every MC should clash though? Because mm. obviously nowadays people aren't really clashing that anymore, innit? True. I think grime. If it's grime, then yeah, in my eyes like that's what grime is, isn't it? Like yeah. everyone should have a clash at least once in grime, man. It's all changed now. I don't like. I speak to people about grime nowadays and I'm like, oh yeah, Fred, are we sick of grime in it? I'm like, it's not grime oh, in it. What you want about? It's not grime in it, yeah. <laughs> what you want about, man? People don't understand it. But they, they don't get it. They just think every little bit of rap music that's like mainstream, now it's all grime, isn't it? So, yeah. People don't understand it, man, but yeah, it's, 
it's it's mad. It's mad. Oh man. If you if 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 a young person like if a new aspiring artist uh, was to ask you uh, advice on to get in in the right mindset for clashing or anything like that, what would you say to him? Mm. I'd say just watch as much grime as you can, freestyles, whatever. Mm. Look who's killing it in grime, and then just send for someone in it. Fuck it, just send for someone who you rate. Yeah. Don't even like. And that, that's what it is, isn't it? You rate him, you send from like you're not gonna clash someone who you think is shit. He's dead unless it's like a beef thing kind of. Do you know what I mean? Unless mm. it's, like disrespected and you have to like show him what's what. Yeah, yeah. But like I wouldn't have clashed Dizzy if I didn't rate him at them time because I didn't have a problem with him. Do you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, just one of those things. It was like, like I wanted to. The, the thing is, when I think about it now, yeah, like I was. Izzy was out there them times, like he was pretty big in it. Like yeah, he had yeah. A name for himself, like Grime weren't big, but he had a name for himself. Everyone knew who he was in that yeah. scene. Um, and before that, I was just thinking, yo, I want to clash him in it. I want to clash him. I want to clash him. And then all of a sudden, it just happened, bro. It's weird, man. When I think back to it now, it's weird, isn't it? Mm. But I think, yeah, any advice if you're wanting to get into that sort of thing, just, just jump in, knees deep in it. If you think you're ready, obviously practice. Practice makes perfect. Make sure you know you're doing it right. But just jump it, jump in, knees deep. Yeah, send to someone. Right, we're gonna get into one of these, one of your new tracks now, the yeah, n- new ones, Eddie. What's this one? So it's Oh Who. Uh, you can go get this. this. is on Spotify, iTunes, all of that. I released it, you know, a few months ago. This is like a little taste of what Eddie is, I guess, kind of. Mm. So it's, it's completely different to anything I've ever released. Anyway, 100%. Just on streaming platforms, have you got it on your uh, music video uh, on YT? Yeah, that's literally it, bro. Just, yeah, yeah. Just streaming platforms. Yeah, I'm probably going to, I might drop a music video for it soon. I'm not, I'm not too sure, though. Mm. But yeah, literally just streaming platforms. Standard. So I've not even thought about it properly. I'm probably going to put an EP out, but I've been thinking... Bang out a few singles first. Get a bit of hype. Get for a it. bit of hype. Mm. Yeah, show yeah. What I'm about now, innit? And it's yeah. Gonna, I'm, I re- it's gonna be a whole new fan base now. That's the way I've got to look at it, like, because it sounds different. So I've just got to start from scratch in a way. Build it? up again. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, bang out a couple symbol singles and then think about it from now. I've got a few ideas lined up for like EPs and shit though. Yeah, yeah. Not far too deep into it, innit? Where are you using for your uh, your studio? Is it studio? So I go to obviously Strikers. SK. Um, but mainly I go to Jordan, Jordan Leo is called. Is it? So Jordan, he's, he's like... Is he the studio he engineer and the producer at the same time? He, no, 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 he don't produce, to be fair, no, no. He, no. he makes music, he makes music. He used to go by the name K-Star. If anyone remembers Blessed Music back in the day. Like I think were, I might... I think he used to represent you know. for Stockport Hard back in the day. Mm, yeah. like, mm-hmm. when, like music wasn't cool at all, bro. Like, But yeah, he's got K-Star, he used to be called K-Star. It's called Jordan Leo now, isn't it? Yeah. Um. But yeah, he's sick on the buttons. That's who. That's who. That's my. That's my engineer in a minute. My guy. Mm. Who makes your beats and that? Beats, bro. I'm just on his YouTube thing, bro. It's dead. Serious. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm on his YouTube. Mainly, I've got a couple of people making me beats, though. To be fair, I've got a few in it, but mainly, I'm just looking at just YouTube beats, bro. So I don't. I need to. I need to get off that. Get off that. Out that stage, to be fair. So. Mm. Therefore, Hindi are late in life in it as well. What, what free downloads or like just copying them straight yeah, off? Yeah, free downloads mainly. Yeah, um, yeah. And then obviously. I've got loads now that I'm gonna have to pay for, innit? Yeah, to get the lease on them. I'm just gonna have to start doing it that way, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth it still. Obviously, if you, if you, if the if song does blow, you're not gonna get any PRS from it. Like you know, exactly. A- XP released a tune, and one of his he he cutted the um of the he, he cutted the beat off YouTube just mm. uh, straight to MP3. That you get busted on like uh, Radio One and and he got all his rights taken away from him. That's what I'm saying, it, bro. I can't. I'm not ready for all that, innit? I'm mm. just gonna have to do it properly now. Yeah. 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 Right, that's yeah, hundred percent. So you're not being too active recently. Well, you, you had a, a mixtape Magnus uh, released about a year ago, wasn't it? That was yeah, 21. Yeah, 21 yeah, yeah. yeah, that was like that, I'll say that's like the, like the start of the new Eddie, isn't it? Was, In a say? way, yeah. yeah before yeah. I even thought about changing my name, but yeah, I kind of changed the sound then. Mm. I thought that was hard. Um, I did, but it, it, it seems to got a, a lot of hate in the comments. I know you have YouTube full of hate anyway. Yeah, you but... know what? But I, I think that's just because of the channel, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's known for drill and everything. Drill, all that kind of vibes in it. I don't know, they're mm. just not ready for that, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think a channel can affect the the release on certain channels? Yeah, I reckon so, definitely, maybe. Um yeah, but yeah, yeah, definitely, in fact. It depends, isn't it? Like my sound now, I just I re- I mean I could risk putting it on like GRM daily and all that sort of stuff, but then again it's just like you don't know you don't know what's gonna happen nowadays, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, you don't know yeah. what's gonna blow, you don't know what's gonna like. All it takes know, is one man to share it and the next thing that's gonna but yeah, the be- I think the best thing to do is just build up your own channel nowadays, isn't it? 100 million percent. Like, is that what we're going to be seeing yeah, this year? Definitely. At some point, I'll probably bang out a few and like GRM all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I'm looking to just build up my own thing to start from scratch. Mm. So, what are your reasons for being quiet? I do. 
we had a, a, a message in that you said you had a, a yeah. loss in your family. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what? Twenty? Was it twenty twenty now? Twenty eight? End of twenty eighteen. Mm. My grandma got cancer in it. My grandma was basically my mum, though, innit? So yeah. Like, brought me up from being born, basically. My grandma got cancer. She died like Sorry a month lost later. In that. No, no worries, bro. Nice one. Grandma got cancer. She died like a month later. And then my granddad in that like process of my grandma being in the hospital, he went into the hospital. So my, we, we had my grandma's funeral. What was it? The, the 9th of November. Mm. And he died on the 11th, two mm. days later. Mad. It's mad. So yeah, it's shit that's bro. Took my head off. Mm. And then, um, yeah, man, I just, Ed was up my ass in it. Depressed, whatever. Do you, think, that, that do you think that affected your music career? Not in a sense of, obviously you've been quiet, but do you think it affected your music in the same essence? Um, if anything, it made me better in it. Hundred yeah. percent. Like, not at, at, at the time, I wouldn't have thought that. But then, a few months down the line, when I realized, like, shit, like I just had so much to say and so much to like write about. Innit? Yeah, and yeah. I just thought, nah, this is it. Now nah, this is me. Now, hundred percent. Like, I'm sick. So it's like that. Like, I had that mentality. Like, yo, I'm sick. Like, I'm getting it. Yeah. So have you got like memorial tracks in memory of you? Uh, yeah, so yeah. One of the tunes today in it. This is yeah. basically. The X X the XXX tune. This next is, one coming in, yeah. It's called Anxiety. I'm gonna be filming for this next month. Mm. Uh, but yeah, this is basically just talking about what mind frame I was in them times, what I went through. Um, obviously, I got um, I was with my partner at the time as well. We broke up, but now I've got a little girl. Like she mm. was pregnant at them times, so was, yeah. yeah, everything was just mad, bro. Everything was mad. Just colliding. This is basically just talking on that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Out. For someone who was in the same same sort of circumstances, what advice would you give him to get pulled through that? Yo, just keep your head up. Like, just, it's brighter on the other side, isn't it? Like, I don't know what that sounds Always. like. Fair cliche. Mm. But these tough times make you a better person, isn't it? You yeah, yeah. Stay positive. If you, you can either let it make you or break you. Yeah. Like, mm. Defo, defo. Hundred percent. So you, again, like just coming back, it's about how you bounce back from stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Because I reckon I could have just carried on dwelling on all that. Mm. And I would have been in, yo, know, my head would have been peppered in it. But yeah, I anyone's think, work, anyone. I just would... had to think, like, yo, this is it. No, I need to, I need to get on my shit. Like, this is a sign, isn't it? Yeah, it's a blessing in disguise, it's a isn't it? In disguise, yeah, yeah. Saying, yeah. Bro, it's my... Do you think this, the help of your daughter brought your your levels up even more? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred hundred million percent. Even though, like, at, at, at them times when I was writing this, I didn't even think I was gonna see her in it because of the situation that I was in with my ex partner. We we're like, we're kind of we're working things out now, and everything. Yeah, good yeah, now. yeah. But yeah, hundred percent. She was what was keeping me going in it, knowing that I've got a kid there now. Like, and it just would have been if I would have done something. It just wouldn't have been nice on her. Innit? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 for sure. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, mm-hmm. I just had to. I had to think about shit different, man. 